culture, they say, is a way of life of a people. It includes their beliefs, customs, social behavior, dance, and art. So it was that the beautiful culture of the Abor Kingdom, headquarters of the Undukwa East Local Government Area Delta State, was put on magnificent display on the 1st of October 2020 at the second edition of the Abor Cultural Fiesta, held to coincide with the celebration of the Nigerian Independence Day. <laughs> We want to remind our people that in the ancient time, whenever a bomber is happy, he enter river. To enter river means to take your boat, go from place to place, either to just visit your friends and enjoy yourself, or to go and war and capture more territories. So our major means of movement is boat. So our, our dancing is on the boat, our fishing is on the boat, even our cooking and eating and living on boat sometimes during the flood like this. Is a miniature boat. It's our own water taxi. This boat is usually carried by young children for errands. They go for errands for their parents with young children, young children, and they go out fishing, solo fishing, with this boat. This boat for an indoor swimming is the fastest means of traveling. You can start your day journey in this boat by crossing a river. You get to the other side of the river, you carry it on your head. You carry it on your head and you walk a distance. When you get to that place where there's a marshy ground, when you, you can no longer trek, you put it down and use your body to go across the marshy ground. You get to another river, you cross. So with this boat, our people were able to go to Abanikaka in on those days, those days to go and market their products, which is yam. When you've gotten customers, then you can now come home and take a big boat to convey the yam to the place. So this is a very important boat in the life of a born man. Among events planned to showcase the culture of the Abor people were swimming competition, boat races, masquerade dances, traditional wrestling matches, and traditional dances. <laughs> celebrating culture on this day of our independence, celebrating the Abo people's culture, the way of their life. Nigeria is a country with rich cultures and you can see that exemplified here in Abo, celebrating a people of beautiful and rich culture. See us in the river, enjoying the beauty of nature, enjoying the people displaying their culture in the way of dancing and telling people that we are the riverine people and we have enough to do with the river. And I want to see ensure Nigeria that on this day that we are celebrating uh, independence 2020, that we should be peaceful people. We should sift out the different beauties in different cultures in our country and that with the culture, a, a people of diverse culture, we can really enrich our people and we can gain beauty and goodness from our country, Nigeria. <laughs> No.
No matter what is happening, when you are when you are 50 or when you are 20, you celebrate. Whether you have done well or you have not done well, you celebrate. We are not celebrating because we have been doing very well. We are not celebrating because the nation is at the peak of where it's supposed to be. It's not. But we must mark it. No matter what happens, you thank God for your existence. You thank God for keeping you alive to do what you are doing. That is why we are celebrating. Because not everybody has reached 60 years. Not everybody born even reached 20. But since Nigeria has come of age, and we are this age, we celebrate. I never knew I was going to take first, and I thank God for today. I also thank uh, the coordinators and the chief hosts. Um, I'm okay, and uh, I'm happy. We are showcasing our talent, our culture. We are known as a kingdom that came from Reverend area. We are known with swimming, wrestling, and we have a lot of different cultural dance in this community. Egu Amala is the number one dance of the Abo kingdom.
a new uh, invention. This is the second time uh, around. Uh, I started last year and there's a lot of improvement compared to last year. And attendance also is impressive. And I wish they would continue with the, the tribe, you know. It's all, it's just, all, everything is going fine. Everything is going fine. Everybody's enjoying yourself. You can see the crowd, the dancing group, the boat regatta and everything. All. I'm a son of soil of this community, this Abo Kingdom. When we people are talking of flood, flood is not a new thing to us. We are used to this. We are born into it. So this is the this small canoe we used to go to our farms. We used to go to school. When we are, when we are in, the, in the primary schools, we used to paddle it to schools. This has been a part of our, our let me say, part of our system. It is the way we used to do it in the olden time. My, our father used to tell us that during the war, this is how they will, they will, be, they will sit here with their tie and their suit and put the keys on the front during the war and escape them. So we are trying to practice this back to bring the culture back to where it is before. What you have just seen is a gentleman coming from his office. This is our own water taxi. We go to work with it, we go to farm with it, we go to messages with it. Our sister town down here across the river there, we use it to cross down here anytime we want at any part of the day. This is the Abom Man's water taxi. And it has multi-purpose. You can start your day with it by crossing this river. You get across there, you carry it on your head and trek to where there's another river so you can use your cross. And if you are going to meet a very marshy place that is so wet that you cannot walk across, you drop it on that mud, enter it and you pull across and you continue. During the war time, this was a very good means of spies. The spies would enter this and go through very narrow creeks to enemy territory and get information. These two, we used to go to a place called Agbanikaka in Ondo State. Our people used to go with this boat to Agbanikaka those days to go and negotiate for yam customers. When they have gotten the customers, they now come back during flood, they now use big boat to convey the yam to Agbanikaka. So it's an indispensable part of our boy young men. The resplendent event saw the attendance of people from far and wide non-resident sons and daughters of the Abo Kingdom, tourists and of course indigents and residents. Today is very special, many things happening, swimming, wrestling and people driving the small canoe which they call Ubojo in my language. We are competition too, many things happening. Our God will bless him, promote him, give him the spirit to, to do more because he's part of empowerment. What is the essence of this a wrestling competition but there was a time that I read something about the history of a book and I saw that in the old we used to have brave men who fight for us to chase away our enemies who are coming to encroach or to to overpower us to subjugate our kingdom. So what people are doing now is like a reminiscence of the old, having strong men who will be able to defend our land. So let us do it, this uh, activity, with the spirit of brotherhood, with joy that we are celebrating Nigeria and we are celebrating our community. May God grant you all the energy, all the agility you need to make, to entertain us.
Let's go there again. No point. That was not the winning. We want who will go the ground. I lie. I lie. You don't agree. Gangam, gangam, oda. I come up with oh, I do. It was indeed a beautiful day for the people of Abo and the embers of which will burn long in their memories. At the end of the day, winners were awarded several cash prizes and all were happy. The receding atmosphere was one of fulfillment. Then with the song, with the good cash of 20,000 naira him, a round of applause for him. It's not easy for Zika. That's all. As we do in the sea, the sea. Yes. He, he match touch position today. I believe next year you will do greater. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, second position is going home with a sum of 10 good thousand naira cash. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. The, second, the third position is going home with a sum of 5,000 naira cash. Ladies and gentlemen, to the first position of the 2020 Abo Cultural Fiesta, the boat racing champion, the person of Harmony, Machuku, is going home with a sum, the good cash of 20 good thousand naira. Ladies and gentlemen, jam your hands. It's not easy for Zika. Kwazo Kojiku is going home with a sum of 10,000 naira. And the award is presented by our Emirates Authority. Yes, he's going home with a sum of 10,000 naira. Yes, so he's a big boy. The big boy. 10,000 naira, not 10 naira. The winner of the wrestling competition, the person of Azubike Estime, he is going home with a sum of 22,000 naira. Yes. I, don't know if I, I want to thank the planning committee for making us having a swell time today. Thank you so much. I want to specially thank Mr. Greg Uzegui for all this awesome contribution and support he had made to make this day a reality. God bless him really good. I want to thank the dance troupe, the competitors, in the different uh, perspectives. I want to thank all of us who have come to grace this occasion today. Permit me, I don't know your names, but God specially appreciates you. And special thanks goes to God who made this day a reality. 
we thank you and may all the honor and praise go to be through Christ our Lord. I enjoyed every bit of it, the swimming competition, the boat uh, uh, parade and all that. Even the masquerade play that came earlier, I don't know if it was captured though, but there was a lot of fun today. Thank you. So what are we expecting after now? Yeah, continuity. Continuity. We have to do more of this to bring the people together and make it worthwhile. Everyone looks forward to another edition of the Abor Kwashiro Fiesta to be held in 2021, hopefully.